Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do gel nails at home that are actually going to stay on. This is the way that I finally got my gel nails to stop lifting on me, to stop peeling a few days after I did them, and to just get them to look super good. So let's get right into it. Okay, so the first step that I always do when doing my nails or somebody else's is to trim them up like this, get them the shape that you want them, and then we're going to be filing, cleaning up the cuticles, and just getting the nails ready for gel polish or whatever you're going to be doing to them. So I always wear acrylics, so today I'm going to just be doing gel on my sister's nails. And right now I'm just filing them gently, shaping them so that they all look almost the same. And then also we're going to be pushing back her cuticles, cleaning up the nail area. And all of these products that I'm using right now, all of these nail tools and everything guys, are linked in my description below. Including the gel light that I'm using in this video as well as other gel lights that I own because I do have a few so if you want to check out the ones that I like, it's all in the description. Now that we got the nails all prepped and ready, this is the most important step, guys, okay? This is how you get your gel polish to stay. You're going to want to take a nail file like I am and lightly brush it along the entire nail. You do not want to rub back and forth. You do not want to file the way that you file the tips of the nails because that will strip away layers. What you want to do here is just super lightly mark up the nail so that it's lightly, lightly scruffed and this will give the gel polish better grip and it'll make it stay on your nails. This is literally what makes my gel polish last so, so much longer than it usually would. But please be careful when you're doing this. You do not want to file back and forth. You only want to be doing this for half a second on each finger because you don't want to be stripping the layers away on your nails. So then we're going to go right into the polish. Don't worry about having a smooth surface for the polish. I will get into that later. But when you're applying the polish, what I like to do is put it all at the base of the nail, line it up to the edge at the base of the nail near the cuticle so that it's all lined up how you want and then bring it towards the tip, smooth it out just like that. I almost forgot to mention that this brand of gel polish that I'm using does not need a base coat. If you are using a brand that has a base coat, just do that as this first layer that I'm talking about and then continue. Don't worry if you're seeing little bumps like this underneath. This is from scruffing it with the file like we did and we're going to smooth that out after this is in the gel light. So if your first coat is super bumpy like this, not smooth, don't worry about it. We will fix that. We're just going to repeat the same thing on the other hand, just getting the first coat down and not worrying if it's bumpy or the surface is not smooth yet. Once you have the first coat on, you can go ahead and put your nails in the gel light. Depending on what kind of light you have, some are big enough to put both hands in at once. The one that I'm using right now is just for one hand at a time. And this gel light is linked below. It was from Walmart and I'm pretty sure it was under $15 if you want to check that out. Otherwise, there are a bunch of other brands of gel lights available on Amazon, Sally Beauty, that are great, and I linked a few of my favorites in the description below. So now that we've had this first hand under the gel light, we are going to go ahead and fix all those little bumps. So we're just taking a nail buffer, not a nail file, and just lightly buffing the nail here. I don't want to take off all of this first layer of polish, but in some areas you'll have to buff a little bit more than others, so it's okay if some of the polish comes off, but you don't want to be buffing so hard that you're just taking the entire first layer off. 
our goal here is to just smooth out those little bumps so that when we put on the second layer of gel polish, that layer is going to be super smooth. Okay, now that we have all those little bumps all smoothed out, we're gonna go ahead and do a second layer of gel polish. So just like the first time, I like to put the polish near the base, near the cuticle of the nail, and then brush it towards the tip of the nail, get it all smooth, and this layer should be much smoother, much less bumps than the first layer. If you are still finding that there are some bumps just finish that second coat, put them under the gel light, and then buffer them off again, and then go on with the third coat. So for me, I like to do three or four coats of gel polish before a top coat, but this is totally up to you and it also depends on the polish that you're using. Some colors are thicker and might only need two coats, but for me a lot of the times I like to do three or four just to make it a thicker look. Now we're going to do our top coat and I'm just going to apply it like I did with any other of these gel polish layers. So starting with the polish at the base of the nail and then bringing it out towards the tip of the nail. So once that top coat's finished, we're just gonna put the nails under the gel light one more time, grab some acetone nail polish remover, and a cotton ball or pad. Just put a tiny bit on it and then once the nails are out of the light, you can just gently brush that over the nails and then they're all set, they're all dry, finished, and you're done. So here's what my finished gel nails look like. And that is all I have for you guys, so thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you with my next video. Bye!